<laughs> Dan, nice to meet you. I'm Damien. Damien? Is it recording? Yes. I'm Enol. I'm Enol? Enol. 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 Okay. I am. Bolshevik. Okay. Bolshevik. I'm not Bolshevik. <laughs> Where are you guys? I'm Menshevik. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm I'm actually born and raised in Maniunk. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I was born in the U.S., but I kind of lived all over the place. That's cool. What's your favorite place that you've ever lived? Uh, probably Madison, Wisconsin, honestly. Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, back. Small okay. Small town. What's up, dude? That's so, news to me. What's up? What's your guys' name? This is an actual podcast? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, I'll so, earlier. So, uh, a few of the questions tonight. Are crashing us, bro? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> He's asking yeah, why you're crashing the podcast. I was here earlier. Yeah. But we weren't, so. All right, cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> what are the questions? Are it's the questions? um, the questions today are uh, sorry, my memory is shot. All good. Um, are you guys okay with spicy questions? Yeah, are we yeah, love of course, them. of course. <laughs> right, 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 right. He's Run sitting out for up. a reason. He's the squish. <laughs> yeah, let, me, okay. let me get, let me grab a seat really quick. Okay, I love um, So, would you guys rather date a virgin? Oh! Been there, done that. This guy's—I don't know. Okay. Um, What's the question? Would you guys, guy. would you guys guy. rather date a virgin or a porn star? Virgin. A virgin. 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 Okay. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, I mean, you know, uh, it'd be kind of embarrassing. Untouched. Why would I date a porn star? Exactly. Okay. There you go. That's okay. A good enough answer. So, is, is it like is my income not enough? Exactly. <laughs> okay. See, like, okay. Now, That's a ha point. have you guys ever dated a virgin? Yes. yes. No. Oh, yes. Okay. He hasn't so dated a little, many. A little mix. When I've had experience dating virgins, right? There, there sometimes comes a point where the virgin, right? Somebody wants to explore, right? Yep. It's a natural thing in life. You want to see new and other things, right? Yep. What do you do when you come to that point in the relation when the person you're dating, who was a virgin before you, now goes. Well, I want to see what it's like to fuck other people. See, listen, I think that it's... Why is it other people? I think that it's well, okay. They're a virgin. They ain't fucking. They want to fuck other people. Listen, that, I think that it's... That's no he's, go right yo, there. He's the guy to talk the, to about Are this. they a virgin? Trust, are they a virgin? Trust, trust. Like, he's I, think this, I think that is okay because, you know what? People change in their lives, and that's okay. You can never be too comfortable. That That's the problem with everyone in our lives. You can never be too comfortable, and... A lot of the people that we're with and that we surround ourselves with are way too comfortable. The world doesn't stop for anyone. The world does not stop for anyone. Okay. So, Damien, yes. if you're coming in and, like, you're saying that, like, um, why would they want to fuck other people? They they wanted to. They fuck ain't fucked. Right? They ain't fucked. They you have to bleep so, that out in the video. So it's like I present my cock. They ain't have cock before. Okay, They're like, well, I want totally... other cock. That's that, that's a whole different deal. No, well, that's totally di okay. Right. That's, so, that's, di that's different where it's like she blowed, she yeah, blowed you, she jer jerked you off, and she's like, I want to <laughs> fuck other people. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so does the girl. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, I mean, like, you're dating, right? You've been with this person for a year or a year and a half, right? And like, I've dated a virgin for over a year and a half without fucking. Without okay. Without any horse. Yes. Any horse. Yes. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. okay. Good for you. That's good. You, you, you guys all doing a podcast? Yeah. Should I just keep walking? The questions are inappropriate. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> um, I probably have the worst profession to be on this podcast. What do you do? No, it's all right. It's all right. I'm a public school teacher. Okay. Oh. Well, we won't no, say for the right. district. But, um, <laughs> we'll say from the district. <laughs> But no, that that's a good perspective, right? You're teaching generations of people. Exactly. So it's good yes. to exactly. know what your mind. People need is. to know. Stay away from the virgins who want to fuck other people. Exactly. Stay away. Yeah. Exactly. Stay away. Well, so okay, <laughs> so I'll put it to you kind of this way. Right. I, I'm listening. I don't have a pro or a con Fred, either way, right? Wait. Um, I, I want to know how you guys feel about it. If I bought one car, right? And that was a brand new car off the lot. And I, I, I've never owned a car. I've owned trucks and vans and like utility things to move motorcycles, right? Okay. But I was like, I want a car and I want a sports car, right? So I go out and buy, I don't know, an Audi R8, 
because everybody raves about them. They say they're great, right? Sure. They say they're better than the BMW. No, that's not true. You're an Audi, a BMW I, guy? No, I'm an Audi R8 guy. I mean, oh, okay. how can you not be? <laughs> Either way, I buy this new Audi R8, right? I drive it for two years. Love it. Don't let anybody else drive it. This is my baby, my virgin. And then a BMW, really nice BMW, blows past me on the road. My mind gets curious, right? You go, well, what would it be like to drive that BMW? What would it feel like? What would I feel like? driving a BMW compared to an Audi. See, I listen, feel like a lot of see, people listen. feel like that. Are There's you are you equating to I have a virgin <laughs> girlfriend. I took her for a spin for 2 years and I'm getting curious. So my perspective on what my virgin girlfriend wants to do should change because I'm curious about other cars on the lot. See, that's where my point of view differs, which is like if I took my virgin, yeah. haven't haven't had intercourse yeah. for a spin for two years. Well, it's not a spin. I want to own I the wanted, car. Two years. I own is not the. A spin. Well, but we're talking you about women now. We're talking about it's ownership not, right not, now. Oh, okay, you don't. You're in a committed <laughs> lease obligation contract. You Jane, are stop. committed. Jane, so I'm married to the woman. Jane. Yeah. Is he hot? You're married. How you doing? I got a pretty good beard. I got a mediocre you're beard. Hot. Thank you. Oh, me, me just not, my beard quick. ain't shit to this man's. All right. I, no spicy exactly question. His beard, his beard is fire. What are our opinions on abortion? Okay. Well, let's oh. talk about oh, oh, so you, You're like, let's you have spicy questions. questions. He jumped That's a it. political question, I feel uh, like. All right, ask another question. question. Is this so, live? I f no. Can I, can I share my a little bit of personal experience <laughs> with dating versions before we Guys, move on? Guys, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably share something I don't want to share, so I'm going to leave. But very nice to meet you. Pleasure. I got dirty hands. I got I'm, I'm handling my my schnooze. So, I per uh, and actually you can find me on YouTube. I did an interview while I was in Shanghai, China, for That's cool. for foreigner perspective on dating in Asia. Okay. So before I went to Asia. No, don't sit in that chair. You can scan that and see. But b before I went to Asia, I had a girlfriend, and because my perspective of Asian culture, and I speak fluent Mandarin, I studied global China studies. Okay. Chinese culture uniquely is a part of my identity. Okay. And that was partic that's particularly sentient, or not, not sentient, uh, salient. Salient because it was during my formative years. Okay. So, my first girlfriend, my first girlfriend, she was a virgin. We purposely chose to wait. We were very serious. She was in Illinois. Either I would travel to China and visit her. She would travel to Philadelphia and visit me. I would travel to Illinois and visit her. And I'm spending all this kind of airfare to not get pussy, right? She's a virgin. So, and the unique perspective that she had, which I found very common among many Chinese women was, I was like, I'm, I'm a young guy, you're a virgin. We're gonna do everything else, right? She said, I could not finger her until I had intercourse Guys, with her. It's a pleasure. Because when yeah, something absolutely. enters there, it had to be the the authentic thing. Okay. Yeah, facts. So it was like Can I we want. Sit on it's not yes. only do I not want to have intercourse until I'm married or I'm in this committed relationship. It was, I don't want anything entering there. Until I know. Yes. So we did everything minus that. So that, so that's a little different from the question, right? I, I'm like saying, so I what, guess, wait, what's like the as question? if you were doing. What's the question? What's the question? <laughs> Like as if you were, but that it does take a lot of patience and understanding and love and devotion to do what you did. I loved her, right? yes. Like um, my first love. Do you still talk to her? Say, hey, my name's Wiener. So I can't even get in the twice game. a year, right maybe. Because how you doing? She went on to be no. arguably, in the academic sense, much more successful. No. Okay. I grew. No. Uh, she started college no. a year before me. I'm finishing up college. She was going to Yale for grad school. Wow, good for her. Smart cookie. Smart cookie. Good for her. And we had a... 
an exciting separation, to say the least. I feel like they're always crazy. Emotional. We were both crying when we broke up. That's sad. It wasn't. It was very mutual. It wasn't. I'm done with you. She wasn't done with me. It was That's opportunity. Sad. Why? Why? I won't. I won't. I won't. I don't mind. No, I don't. I don't, I don't mind. I'm. I'm here on camera. So. Why? Why do you think it ended? Why? Like I. I well, I, I know why it ended, and I can tell you the end? piece. So I originally broke up with her when I was the summer I was going into college, mm-hmm. and I was with her long distance for an extended amount of time, and as an amateur to long distance, and I, I, I think I'm very much experienced in long distance for the wrong reasons now. Damn. I just saw that she had a very pessimistic attitude, and I felt that my obligation to console her was really heavy giving, given that I had a lot going on with myself and I, as much as I wanted to be vulnerable with her I had to always be the strong stoic figure I would rather date I had to al- I had to always console her without ever having the opportunity as much as I wanted it to be vulnerable right so I would rather I, date a broke, porn star. So I, we broke it off. Yeah, we got cowboys. M- months went by. We, we were back. We podcast. We were unofficially yeah. back together. Okay. Seems like sexual shit. How really. it came it's down was sexual. she so was studying. She was studying in America. I went to China to study. Okay. We made a plan where she would lie to her family. Say she was taking classes at UPenn. Long story short, she wasn't cl- taking classes at UPenn. She was going to live at my home. My whole family was on board. They already met her. Okay. She was going to move in with me for a summer, essentially. A summer semester, a summer term. Then that fell apart because long distance. And I knew that... I wasn't able to provide the emotional support I could long distance and someone was present that could do all the things that I couldn't and that comes down to a lot of people make jokes whenever I present that I was in a long distance relationship where like oh the worst thing is like oh you can't fuck you can't you can't do all these things I say the most painful part of long distance relationships is have your only desire is to give someone a hug who needs it and you're thousands of miles away so the most painful thing for me in a long distance relationship was the inability to give a hug to someone that I care about and then before that situation became what it was no, 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 I, don't think she, she met a friend 60 years later and even with our intimate relationship I would ask her like, did, you, did you get a hug today and I was and when I found out she did I'm talking about a long distance relationship I'm talking about what do you have last 10 minutes of long any relationship. Would you rather Who's someone wrap around it? This gentleman over here. I feel like the toughest part about like street interviews and podcasts is like the loudness. People are so interested, right? Because it's out of the norm, right? Yeah. And it's so attention grabbing, right? Yeah. And we as people all have different perspectives of how we interact with one another. Like and I think one of the most impactful things I've ever seen is how people respect one another. I'll give you all types of fucking you've you've a couple info. I've been done dirty in a long distance relationship, not the one I'm talking about, but I thought that was gonna be my last time doing long distance. I made an exception no, for someone who was my ex fiance. COVID happened, that turned the shit. Long story short. Run away. Oh, I dodge a bullet. Run away. Or would you rather have someone never I was married for 14 years. That's not me. Like, bro, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That that is, 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 like, the I was with him for 21 years. No, no, no. <laughs> you fuck you. You fuck you. Fair. Sorry. I, I don't, I have patience. I have patience. Would you rather somebody 
wrap around your cup? You want me to run? No, I'm just We're running, running the Ryan's pub. You want to run the Ryan's pub with me? Me neither. Me neither. I'm there, brother. I really do So the question for Damien and these folk, would you rather date a porn star or a virgin? So you're being married. Porn star. No, let me ask you a question. Ask me. Ask me the question. Wait, can I ask you a logical answer? Yes, real all <laughs> risk. Do I have to scan Everything that together? You can. Or you can, can you type it in? Yeah. Hold on. Is type P, it in on whatever. Is PA a one? A one? Is Yo, PA a one party camp. consent state? I would rather date a porn uh, star because she's what? sucking me so Media dumb nuts. Yeah, it, uh, every so night. You're out so every night. Every porn star you have no wants to suck it every yeah. night. So no, it's so it's 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 you were doing man on the street interviews. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 They want to suck it. They like suck it. One party, same thing. Don't suck it. Like as long as... I dated a young lady that... I dated a porn star. My friend was wise to sit out. Get in the mix. Get in the mix. It's entertaining. So... She's saying porn star. You're saying porn star. I, it, it doesn't even, I don't even hesitate. It doesn't even cross my mind. Porn star, off oh, rip. Like, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, you met this girl for how long? You met time span. You're getting married. You date to marry, right? What's the point? My, my question is, <laughs> He's my, 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 my question is, were you dating her for six months, then discover she's a porn star? No, this is why, not why the open. That, why, you know she's giving you D1 socks. Once you start talking. Later, partner. Well, look at this. If your priority are blowjobs, then you should find yourself a lady. Ass or tits? Because she has the tits. Serious the face. question. Ass or tits? And she has Asshole. the same parts uh, that a man I'm does. I'm more of a stomach person. She knows person. what a man wants. So you don't want them bigger or smaller? My belly button's right for? here. <laughs> No, like, if you can tell a lot about a, a person by their stomach, right? If it's so toned, no, are you looking, real shit, though, are you looking it's a porn star. A bigger I swear, stomach a porn or star. a smaller stomach? What are you looking Ooh, for? Oh, it's got to be toned. It's like, got to be, like, in between. like, she takes care of her body, yeah, she eats yeah. right, like, maybe a little exercise. Fair Doesn't enough. have to go to the Fair gym enough. like a gym rat, yeah. but, like, you know, Just walks around. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Drinks, I want her to live till she's 80, 90, you know what I mean? Rather than, like, 40. Right. Exactly. So how uh, are you going to replace her at 90 stands. then? Ass well, or tits? <laughs> Ass or tits? That, that definitely tits. Ass or yeah. tits. It's definitely tits. Well, that's what I'm asking. What's your question? What's you? Ass what you got? Well, I'm, I'm a tits man. No, no, no. I'm a tits man. I'm telling you, every ass and the same way. Listen, I don't want no little tits. No, I'm telling you, the tits I think if the porn star picks you, you're pretty fucking lucky. I agree. I agree. That's what I'm saying. You can't find titties everywhere. You can find an ass that looks the same If you, if they she's got decent 80? Tits no. ass, an 80 an 80-year-old like porn star. Right, but that's not the question with that. No, no, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about <laughs> flat ass butt or fucking flat Nasty. ass. Am I 80? No. What? No, what's your butt? <laughs> I'd probably just sit that one out. <laughs> no. On Mish? Mish is cool. Granny's it's still skin and bones. Over here and General snooze. I guess. One of the most healthiest ways to consume nicotine. Big facts. Okay, are they both making me cookies? Pablo, he brought up cookies. He brought up cookies. Yeah, I, that's gonna, like... Okay, okay. Because the sex is gonna be awkward either way, right? Okay, actually. Porn star granny is... Porn star because granny. She wait, 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 kids. granny. She already already knows I heard a granny. Deal. I got excited. Uh, virgin granny. Don't know the deal. How many kids? How are you a How granny and a kids? virgin? Why are we on granny? Well, well, because well, it was, it was, you know, you have your original uh, answer. Virgin or porn star? How are you a virgin now and a grandmother? He added eighty-year-old to the. <laughs> no, but the I heard mix. granny. Okay, okay. How like are you a grandmother porn and a virgin? The, the original point was eighty years old. So, say now she's eighty years old. But she sucked a hundred plus cocks. Okay. She's yes. a virgin. Yes. But she can no, 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 no. So the virgin <laughs> has no kids. She's 80. The porn star is 80, has kids. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, no, sorry. At that Let's scrap age, this. I'm you're a not concerned <laughs> if she's a virgin or a porn star. You're worried about like not fucking getting a stroke on the toilet at that age. Like, that's, that's totally irrelevant to the conversation. 
Well, but the difference is, is that if she's older, I don't need now you know she has 80 uh, years experience. She's been doing this for But a she's while. a virgin still. Or she's a virgin still. <laughs> and if she's 80 years old and she's a virgin, at that point, do you really go for it? No, probably not. That's what I mean. Yeah, like let her, oh, oh, on, let her on. die on that hill. All right, camera. Right. Y'all ever hear the saying, like, cooks, like professional chefs, they cook shitty at home? Right. It's because they don't want to bring their work at home. Right. They want to, like, leave it behind. Maybe porn stars are the same thing. Nah. Nah. They, they bring the best little treats out of the you casket. You ever dated a porn star? The I've casket. never dated one. No. But, um. So we're all talking theoreticals here. Now I'm saying most likely the theory is they won't do so good at home. Because they don't want to bring their work at home. They but you also got to think. You, you, you also got to think if you're a gr if you're granny age, not a granny, but a granny age, and you're a virgin, if you didn't live half of your life alone. She lived half of that life cooking for other people. Like, what whatever she wasn't doing in the bed, she was doing other places. Do you think experience is a bad thing? Yes. <laughs> well, so is it a experience. bad thing for your mechanic to be experienced working with a car? <laughs> He's a car nut, I'm not. Uh, no, it's not at all a bad thing. <laughs> okay, is it a bad thing that you're experienced as a teacher? In life and whatever you teach? Uh, kind no, of, no. yes. A lot of teachers in tenure, man, they don't do their fucking job. I've been through the Philly public school system. So. I've been the Philly public school system. I'm a part of it. I'm not commenting. Experience. The uh, I mean, it's up to him. He's a leader. Damon, how would you feel about that? It seems like respect is a very fluid thing, and you are probably the most respectful person tonight thus far. Yeah, thank Some you for asking. Some people don't ask, right? So, like... I've had people that get and feel very disrespected when, like, those people interrupted you. You felt yeah, yeah. disrespected, right? I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I, but I, we're not talking about you. I, I'm very alcohol literate and alcohol tolerant. Okay. Even though I saw that as my opportunity to be vulnerable on camera. Okay. I know the situation and I'm not going to act like I'm somewhere I'm not. Right. Now, hold on. You can't really talk about being disrespectful here because, like, you are setting up all this at 1 a.m. on a Friday night. Yeah. On a drinking street. Like, correct. Correct. But, like, you know you're going to get lots of drunk people. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but, there, but there's diamonds in the rough, and when they stroll through, you don't want the blood diamonds to come through. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, it's, it's really, like, a fluid thing, right? Like, I've sat down with people that... Were just like Damon, like, and viewed it as a huge disrespect, like a slap in the face if you were to interrupt them while they were talking. And he it's threatened not my first somebody. Rodeo. And was like, "I'll fuck you up if you keep talking while I'm talking." And it was wild, right? Like, so it's it's interesting to see how people navigate respect, what they value as respectful and disrespectful, and what they how they interpret it in their own body, right? Like how it changes their mood and perspective. You know what I mean? Um, ladies, the question at hand is... <laughs> do, you have, do you have a second spicy question so we can all start off with fresh? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So we can do it. We can do a new one. I haven't had a microphone. I've been laid back. <laughs> um, take it. Can I, like, take it off the thing? You can, but you don't have to. It's... Um, it's all, like, it's set like to it. hear you. If you're closer to it, it's uh, it's very loud. I really like a shot right now. What do you guys rate yourself? One to ten. Ten. Okay. Obviously. There you go, queen. Thank you. I'm a ten as well. Queen's in the house. How, how do you man with the hat? How do you man compare two Yeah, what do you rate yourself? Man. How do you compare? You date a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How do you compare two tens though if they're both tens? You don't. No, Is the scale broken? Does the scale need to be reworked? I guess the scale's broken. So you got both of you broke the scale. Six. Okay. Okay, wait, can I ask a question? Yeah, you can ask a question. You can a producer of the show? Yeah. Expensive, very expensive. I'm willing to do it. Okay. Can I have a question? Yeah. The question Okay. But no, like, can I ask is this the what yeah, yeah, is this the whatever ask. podcast? No. 
It's not. No. It's, it's, it's what's fuck, going on. I signed on. up for the wrong <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> what's your question? Fuck Gavin. Oh, I thought you were him. No, I thought you were asking me if you could ask me a question. Oh, no, oh, I was not asking you a question. I was trying to give a question. Okay. But I thought that you were going to have a question like, already question. formatted so I can ask it. Okay, so the spicy question, right? Yes. Is... <laughs> Just give me the phone and I'll, I'll literally make it an amazing question. What is the craziest pickup line a guy has ever tried to pull or riz you up with? <laughs> Something about a guillotine. I got it. <laughs> w Riz. <laughs> That's what he said? W Riz? He said W Riz. Uh, did it work? No. He just walked up and was like, W, w Riz. Riz. Now, what's a pickup line that works? For my own research. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. For your own research, I've learned that there's no pickup line that a guy can do if you are not hot. So, Gotta be I have hot. never came across a guy that I've actually been attracted to. So, honestly, because like, if you go to St. Joe's, you'll know like they're really awful here. I go so. to St. Joe's. Guys don't have you go to St. Joe's? What grade are you in? I'm in grad See, school. We're, oh, you're in grad school. See, yeah. we're making friends here on this podcast. There we go. But you just said, guys, you go to St. Joe's, they have no riz. So. They don't. And I stand by that. This is my. This and is you're coming from an undergraduate perspective. Let's make that clear. Yes. I guess. Okay. So, what is your riz level? Because from my experience, whenever women guy. have tried to riz me up, it's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> my riz level is deaf ten. Deaf ten. Mm -hmm. Riz up the camera. I'm What's, just kidding. What are some lines you're pulling in the bar to pull um, a dude or a chick home? I was actually just kidding. I literally you just need don't have any riz. But all you need is your pretty face and your good personality, and then everything will be fine. Okay. So just I'm live by that, and if you're a girl, then or a boy, whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be. Just, <laughs> I want to be a girl. Depending, depending on the day. Just, Don't tell my principal. Just. It <laughs> sounds just so be dirty. Just yourself, <gasps> and you will like literally be fine. Because you know what? We're all gonna be fine. So well, what do you? Wait, 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 story me, is. Moral of the story is, it's I not your personality, it's not your pickup lines, it's not your riz, it's how hot you look. Yes. Exactly. I, I'm asking for a friend. And you can say it's not about... Because my told me this pickup line about, is tried okay. and true. Okay, let's hear it. I'd give you better head than a guillotine. Bad. Yeah. You know what a guillotine Bad. is? The thing that chops your head off. It's You're fucked up. They may not. Yeah. <laughs> Are we allowed to curse on this? I'm really sorry. You These can censor. Really <laughs> okay. Don't believe it out. I'm, ask, I'm asking for a friend. It's fucked I'm up. Butchering it, I'll give you better head than a guillotine. I think it's very. Cringy. Well, you won't because I can tell. My friend, my friend got plenty ahead with that line. I don't know how or why. Really? It must be the face because it's not the riz and it's not the pickup line. It's not the riz. And it's not the pickup line. What are we gonna <laughs> so do? the face. What are I, we gonna do? I got a good pickup line. Not directed toward anyone. Toward the, just sharing. A friend shared this. Always asking for a friend. If your left leg was lunch and your right leg was dinner, I couldn't help but snack between meals. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh oh. That's a good one. They that's didn't really like that bad. one. <laughs> they didn't like that one. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have the face. I right, wasn't directed to You gotta give us a good one, ladies. What's a good one? I have the beard, I don't have the face. Yeah. What's a good one, ladies? I don't have a good one. I just think that if you just be yourself no and just be confident, then you will get everything that you need and everything that is meant for you will find you. What if yourself okay. asking for a friend? What if yourself is talking about guillotine? Okay, so if... <laughs> you're really stuck on this guillotine thing. I don't know much about guillotines or whatever the fuck they're called. But all exactly. It's the thing That's that the chops point. your head off okay, in so the Middle Ages, like if, if you did a crime, <laughs> right? It, it would, yes. and then chop the head <laughs> off into a basket. If someone came up to me and said, I want to give you head like a guillotine, I'd no, probably say, not like you a should probably. Better than a guillotine. <laughs> better guillotine. than a guillotine, guillotine. I meant. I'm asking for I a would friend. I probably say, go get some help <laughs> from a psycho psychiatrist. I probably butchered it. Are you trying and to reveal yourself? <laughs> I would probably just be like, listen, bro, I'm sorry that you feel this way. How's but his face? She's the one with the guillotine think, line. I no think cat. that everyone's beautiful. I think that, I think that you're gorgeous. So what do you look for in a guy at the so bar? Like, I really want a shot. I yeah. really want a shot. I want to continue. I want a I shot want to too. Do you have any shots here? I don't. Oh, that's Because I'm in grad school at St. Joseph's. So I'm a little bit more responsible. School, so you can't take shots? 
Because I work and do school at the same time. I don't time. understand what that, like, I don't understand. He doesn't want a public in tox or a public, you know. I just think is, I go to work on Monday and I work today, so my, my alcohol ethic is a little bit different. You know, we're all about ethics here, but I think you just need a shot. I'm a school Anyways. teacher. Pablo. Yup, that's but why I, anyway, to I, it's pretty question, toasty when I got on camera. What I look for in a guy in a bar is someone with a good personality. Seven. That doesn't... That isn't a Pump mute, it full of hormones. It's, it's a, and I also look thanks, for someone. I appreciate you. Obviously, you have to have the looks, but I prefer someone that looks like a kind of like, like you have to look like you're over like 18. You know Can what I, I mean? And I feel like, I and I feel well, like. Well, that's not personality. Uh -huh. what, what, no, no, the, no. What, what's the minimum salary? Like, yeah, salary? just talk to me and don't be a weirdo. <laughs> and I don't know. Can I do like, the have minimum? What's the minimum? Then we're fine. Listen, could, my could standards you know are like very person, low. It's really I, don't, sad. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll date yeah, myself. I don't care. It's a porn star. You date a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> no. I swear. I'm like the third no. person at this point. No. Date a porn star. How much money does he have to make in order to date? Six, yeah, six, let's six hear it. Long uh, term. This is a great question, by the way. This Wait, is all Damien's question? idea. Let's How much Damien. minimum salary to date minimum you? Minimum salary? Easy. Yeah. 500K. Whoa! So what's this dude do? He a yeah, doctor? He a lawyer? Dream. Holy yes, shit! Five hundred k. In your dreams. Okay, okay. So no five hundred k. That's cool. A few of my clients are millionaires, I'm a part of the so million. I'll give it. Exactly. Right? And that's what I'm planning to be. No, around come on. They have great come wives. Yo, they run the businesses. What, what, what salary you do you in? Yo. You're in undergraduate. You complete undergraduate. You have ten years of work experience. What salary do you aspire for? Personally, yes. are you making a 500k? 200K. No shot, okay. But what listen, are you I'm doing? A, what? I'm a You're woman. going to St. Jo I go to St. Joseph's. I, I don't give credit to that much. I don't need to, to make any money. The goal is to be a stay at home mom. Are you okay. an engineer? Stay at home mom. No, are you in STEM? No, I'm in. Where's 200,000 coming from? Okay, it's coming from talent and really, really, really good work ethic. So date the porn star. Yeah, that's what I'm What makes Because the no. porn star is making bank. <laughs> and this is for every... She's 200 k She's making a million. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. She wants oh. to be a stay-at-home mom. Yes. That's so the okay. dream. Stay-at-home mom and porn on the side. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to be homie. my husband, then you need to, like, not do that ever again. Thank you. Is he going to be your husband? Do you make 500 k I'll be your Back husband. Back up sooner or later. Wait, 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 wait. If, if inflation goes up high enough, my teacher's right salary would be 500k. Oh yeah, I doubt that. I doubt that. Have a marriage on your? Yo, is that bar Are you guys getting married? Yeah, we're getting married right now. I need a shot. That's fine with me, but you just lowered your standards a lot. I don't think that guy's got 50 bucks. You got 50 bucks? Not all me. <laughs> do, you have a, do you own a car? I don't know. Yeah, I do. If your car got four flat tires, how quickly would you fix them? Oh, I'll be. All right, no. I'll catch on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, that was my first failed marriage. Has anybody okay. ever proposed so to you? You're in undergraduate and you were previously married? Whoa. Yes. Wait, you've been married? I'm very I've observational. Been married. How old are you? That blows my fucking mind. How, tell that, how tell old that to the were bouncer. you? Actually, yeah, hold on, hold on. How old were you when you got married? <laughs> what? How old were you when you got married? What Wait, what, what married. foreign country yeah. was it? I was 21. You were 21, you're 21 now. How long, it, did it last I, a few I was months? Six months ago. So, okay, you so. Know, there's been some time. How Excuse long me. has the marriage lasted? Are you still married to them? The marriage has not lasted that long. It's lasted like three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Is this a I bullshit think marriage? I think it is a bullshit marriage, but I think oh, that you don't it's like fine. The hat? I think you're lying. I said nice beer, nice hat. You like, nah? You said he oh. 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 oh, thank you. Morgan Wallen. I wish I had a hat. If only. You have Are you lying your, about this marriage? No. It's in the apartment. It's in the apartment. What's his name? Uh, What's his name? Yeah. His name is Frank. Frank? Mm -hmm. Did you take his last name? It's always name? a Frank. I didn't take his it's last name because I can't give mine up. Okay. Where'd you meet Frank? I met Frank at the bar. At the bar. Where uh, all lovers meet. 21 years Where old. Where all lovers meet. Married and divorced by 21 years old at the bar. <laughs> I think she's capping. There's I think no she's one lying. Like me. There's no way a, a woman's 100%. incapable of lying. Just exactly. like they're incapable uh, of farting. And oh, I'm yeah, that's lying. true. Oh, okay. So let me see when. I snare all of them. Do you? 
I do. Come on, give me your give me you. your biggest flirt right now. My biggest flirt? Can't be about a guillotine. I gotta find an attractive woman. It can't be woman. about a guillotine. Rosalia! <laughs> oh, that's a mean dig. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta run in the incoming traffic. So. I'm sensing dickhead energy. Oh. And I think that's oh. why he's not married. Anyways, oh. on, onwards with the questions. I'm, oh, I'm and that's bored. why you're divorced. I'm divorced because I wanted to be. Oh, and marriage. I'm not married because. Because what? You fucking I mean, chopped too many women's heads in your guillotine. Where the fuck it's going? Oh, you learned what a guillotine is. <laughs> I did. Kudos to you. My job as a teacher was done. My job as a teacher was done. Okay. Do you have any more questions? I'm willing to answer. Do you think it would be a better society if women oh my God, I, ran I, I the world and like were the role leaders, like the leader of the house? The leader of no. like the laws. No, I don't think there's any difference in genders when it comes to leading the society. I think that if anyone could just get their head out of their ass, then we could all just live peacefully and just not be fucking stupid. Do you think women and men are equal? Yes. In what way? I feel like we're all provided the same opportunities given. What about expectations? You expect us to make 500,000. Should we expect Listen, you to make 500,000? No, we already covered that. She wants she to make She said we're equal. I'm talking about expectations. Now. I'm saying that, yeah, we're equal, but like, yeah, I would, ex I mean, it's not an expectation, it's a want. It's and a want. And there's one. a difference between wanting something and expectation. So if I expect something from you, does not mean that I, that you need to do it. That's just an expectation. And I could easily get, fucking make an engineering, whatever major, whatever. So, so are you not going to remarry until you find a man who makes 500,000? I don't think she's ever not, been married. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Who would marry you? I'm, I, I, I film That's weddings really a lot, and I don't think you've ever, you've, I think maybe you've been to two weddings, and none of them were yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a lie. I've been to Actually, a couple no. weddings and I was I had the best moves on the dance floor. <laughs> That's also a lie. Okay. <laughs> but I, I but I I was the drunkest and I had the best so dance So he, he remembered himself being the best dance. I did the worm. Yeah. So no one else did the worm. Okay, you're not answering the question. You're So do you think I'm expectations not are equal? Questions. Okay. Female we have and all male. He is not Harris. That's Female it. and male, do you think expectations are equal? Yes, I do. Okay. So I think that females. So I want a five hundred thousand. No. I Shut I up. equally deserve to expect or want five hundred thousand out of my female spouse. Oh my god, this what's your name? I forgot to ask. Tom My name Tom Call me Tom. Tom said that um expectations are different, but I don't think they are. I think that they are the same in different ways. I never said they were different. I'm just I'm I just I think that women have a lot to live up to and I think that the expectations are sometimes not executable and I think it's fucked up and you know what if you have to go and make five hundred thousand dollars you should so I'm not making five hundred thousand for you I'm making it for myself okay that's fine so can no, I say that. something I wish that women and men dating expectations were more equal because of my profession I wish that more women uh, were equal in how they approach men as men approach women, right? In my profession, I deal with models, right? So as a cameraman, right? It's unfitting and unprofessional for me to hit on a model. Yes. As much as I find them attractive or I like their personality, it's unprofessional. It's bad nomenclature. Uh, I mean, you heard her. It's only unprofessional if you're not super hot. Right, exactly. And you got to make 500 and or, not and, but and or. You could be super hot or you can make 500,000. I wish, I wish, I was I wish both, I guess. But um, I wish I love this man's that, life, he's just observing. Um, just working on life. Just, just saying. He's just observing. Can I hit a cigarette? <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you, you thought you were a 10, you're smoking a cigarette, you're at least a nine on your scale, not mine. You see, that's what I'm talking about, the expectations. They expect us to not smoke cigarettes. I don't understand where you're coming from, and I honestly don't care. Do you think... Kind of like I displayed that I cared. You guys are marrying like bickered women. Yes. <laughs> Fighting like married people? Bickering? I think we're married. 
Are we married? He said it's short. Do I not know about this? No, he won't. He tells me. This is the I'm, marriage I'm, I'm she's talking about. Uh -oh. I'm holding Guys. in my... I'm alcohol tolerant enough to refrain. So basically, you went through your second marriage <laughs> and divorced tonight. You're about to start your third. <laughs> Allegedly. No, I would never yeah. ever marry oh. him. I, I, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm trying to be a professional interviewee. <laughs> okay, you know what? Onwards with the questions. Because Did you get your nails from Family Dollar or Dollar no, Tree? No, they're from Chrissy's Nails right on Cotton Street in Maniac. If you were a local, you would know. Shout I'm out from to Manion. Chrissy's. Oh, cool. Do you know Chrissy's? I don't. I'm, I don't go to nail salons. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, I'm, huh? Mine. Yeah. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you asking for a friend? Good morning. I want a shot. You want to, Pablo? Go get a shot. You want a shot? Can go get, get a shot. shot. Yeah, I'll get a shot. Okay, Should thank I bring you. The car up? No. no. What is walk. what is one piece of life advice you could give to the people out there that you've used throughout your life to kind of help you or help somebody you know that needed it? Don't ever rely on anybody except yourself. One 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 piece of advice that I found resonated with many of my friends during their their crises of all ages is. You don't need to know your destination, you need to know the direction. If you're moving in the right direction, you will discover your destination. Very true. Very true. If you're regressing, you're never going to end up where you want to be. The biggest thing that everyone misses teaching these kids these days is that you can't judge your own success based on everyone else's. If you look at everyone, what everyone else has, you look at this dude, yo, he's got a pig, he's got cars, he's got... That's his success. Right. He was born into a different different time, different situation than you were. What you can measure on your own success and base off your own oh, success... Oh, no, I can do that too. You need to continue to shine. You can't build off your own wealth and where you're at in your life. You're not going to ever be able to compete with someone. Right, yeah, don't compare. In, in Chinese, there's a good saying, ren bi ren, qi si ren, mm -hmm. which means person, literally, person compared to person, frustrate yourself to death. Hmm. Okay. So, can my friends get in the podcast? They have a lot to say. Yeah. It's this ending. Oh, no, no, no. All right. We're all, what are you guys talking let's go to Ryan's. Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair. No, I need another shot. At least well, a shot. I, I've been here for too long. 